It's challenge time. I've got a special, special vehicle that's parked outside my studio. I'm gonna show it to you here. Take a look at this. The PXG tour truck's literally parked outside of my studio. How cool is that? And they're challenging me here today to see if the PXG driver can outdrive my driver. Now, just to provide some backstory, last year I took the PXG challenge and they fitted me into this Gen 6 driver head with a Kurokagi stiff shaft in it. It's a little bit of a shaft upgrade. They also moved some weight around to really dial in my shot shape. So we've got a bit of a starting point here to gauge what would work best for me. Now on top of that, my current driver is a Ping 10K Max with a BGT Brava NRG shaft. That shaft is incredible. And I think Dave, correct me if I'm wrong, is shaking just a little bit here about this shaft. This is an extremely good performing shaft, but we've got a baseline here to start testing some things out. All right, Dave, you just handed me a club. What are we looking at here? So we're looking at the 311 Black Ops 10.5. First things you're gonna notice about contact with this, you're gonna notice much better acoustics, much better speed. I did set the weighting up similar to what was in your Gen 6. So we have similar weight in the back as well as the weight out on the toe for your preference of reducing the left mess. You'll notice a, a smoother feel at impact and you also notice uh, that nice sound. Yeah, I'd say that was one thing with the Gen 6 was it was a little loud sounding driver maybe. Um, obviously that's a very subjective thing. So I'm gonna take a number of shots with the Black Ops. Dave's gonna try to get me into the perfect shaft. We'll try a number of different options. He'll move some weight around until we get it right. So off the bat, what's changed here with the Black Ops from the Gen 6 is we've lost a little of that matte black finish. So this is gonna be more of a gloss face to it. Was it a little bit deeper, would you say? Face depth is very close. But it's gotta be more aerodynamic. Correct. You'll see that mostly in the shape of the crown and as you go from the face to the top. What's the ideal angle of attack we're looking for with my swing speed? I'd like to see it on the positive side, if possible. All right, Dave's he's working over here. What changes are we making? We're going to reposition some of the weighting on the bottom of the club. We're gonna change the face orientation. I'm going from two seven and a half gram weights to a 10 gram weight in the heel and a five gram weight in the toe. Get that face progression. That was off the toe. That was a pretty forgiving result for bearing off the toe. We're seeing very, very <laughs> good results yeah. on, on toe misses with this driver <laughs> over the past month and a half in fittings. Yeah, I'd like to just see where that, that one actually felt very off the toe. Yeah, that was right here. That was really forgiving result to get 139 ball speed on that kind of strike. That was in the middle. So spin looks just a touch low, so I think we're gonna look at for a couple different shafts here. Take a few more swings with each of these, but let's see what Dave's got for us. UB shaft from Graphite Design. Ooh, that looks like an expensive shaft. How would you classify this shaft, by the way, Dave? It's a similar profile to what the Kurokagi is. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, mid-launch. We do see just a tick more spin with this, typically. Okay. Ooh, that felt good. That's the little butt baby draw that I like to see. It seems like it's rising a little bit coming off the club face to me compared to the last shaft. The launch is better. We're seeing a better launch angle. We're seeing that spin, like I said, that spin number, really good sweet spot there at 20, just under 2200. Seeing a nice tight dispersion on the shot. Yep. Nice flat trajectory at the top. 143 ball speed, that's nice. I guess what's Impressive to me about the head so far is the fact that, you know, that one I hit towards the heel, I hit one off the toe there a couple shots ago as well, and we're still squeaking out reasonable distance for my swing speed. All right, so now we're going Tensei Blue. This is gonna be a very standard offering. You see pretty much every manufacturer. No upcharge, right, Dave? No upcharge. Tried and true. Tried and true, classic. This shaft to me has a more solid feel, like at least the feedback I get. It's not quite as compressed feeling as maybe okay. that Tori D. That was low, low on the face. Yeah. UB is going to be the challenge. Okay, we've got a winner here. We've got the Tori D. We're gonna to go straight up against the Ping 10K with that BGT 
NRG shaft, which for me is probably one of the best shafts I've ever tried. So this thing is gonna be on par, you said, basically with the price range of that shaft as well. Correct. Okay, cool. This is probably a, a, a little less. This is essentially a $200 up, up charge for us. I think, I think that's, that's 450-ish. Yeah. yeah, so BGT's priced a little higher. So, yeah, uh, that's considerably higher. It's a whole better. other driver head <laughs> higher. <laughs> yes, uh, we're getting into what's more along the lines of the Venice right. type, type, uh, type sure. of shafts. But, sure. uh, profile wise, we saw that the Venice and the UB, the UB was much more consistent. All right, it's challenge time. The way this is gonna work is I'm gonna get five shots with my driver, the Ping 10K Max. Then we're gonna take five shots with Dave's custom setup of the Black Ops. And if his driver can beat me for either distance or dispersion, they win. Or the Ping 10K is gonna win, and that's what I think is gonna happen. Let's get to work. All right, moment of truth. Let me know down below in the comments what you think, who's gonna win. That would be really nice to know. Again, 10K Max head, the Brava BGT NRG shaft. Here we go. What's your confidence level going into this? Very confident with, with what our engineers have done with Nico and Brad. Okay, and five swings. Pulled that one a little bit. Probably the adrenaline of the challenge, Dave. The adrenaline of the challenge. Game on. Game on. That one was definitely a little higher up on the club face. Again, very forgiving driver in the Ping 10K. 98 mile an hour club head speed. Backspin right around 2,500 RPM. It carried 226. Let's see if we catch one in the middle. Pull that one again, just a little bit, but stats should be decent. Rolled right out to 250. Club head speed again, 98. Seems to be where it's living here today. Backspin, 1946. There's our 1.3 degree up. High up on the face again, and it's leaking on me. We've seen that swing a couple of times. Last but not least. Club head speed was down a little bit there. Backspin, 2611. I could have sworn that one would have gone straight. You're not messing with the system back there, are you, Dave? I have <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, we have two off to the right, one pretty much in the center, and two off there to the left that I've pulled. We're making the switch now. All right, that was five with my Ping 10K Max. Now it's time to switch to the Black Ops. Let's see what happens. I can see the confidence on Dave's face right now because uh, I don't know if I caught any of those in the middle, to be quite honest. So even one good shot with this might win the challenge. Oh, what am I doing all of a sudden? I think I've had too many swings, Dave. I tried not to wear you up. <laughs> Club head speed 96, down a little bit there. Backspin 2882, carry 221, rolled out to 240. We got better swings in us, I think. Again, hitting that just a little high up on the club face. Can only chalk it up to fatigue right now. Since I played 18 holes of golf this morning, this is my second sesh of the day. Club head speed there, again, just a little bit lower. So we're gonna try to get that up there because I want apples to apples as much as possible. Backspin considerably lower there than the first one, 1760. It carried 228. That was in the middle of the club face. That's probably our best one. Three yards shorter than the last one. <laughs> was it? Yeah, the last one was 255. <laughs> Close speed was 97, so we got it up a little higher. Backspin is actually a good number, 2183, carry 227. Seeing the efficiency go up in the smash factor. Yeah. Better exit speed, mm -hmm. better spin numbers, ideal. Ah, oh, I just, I don't know why I'm losing them off to the right here. Almost never do that. Again, 256. Yeah, that distance is better. Yeah, carry 230, I think that's the best we've seen. Club speed was 98 there. Am I just late, Dave? What's the deal with my swing today? A little late on the swings. <laughs> I did play 18 holes. There, so. 240, again, not a horrible for where it was struck on the club face. Club speed was 96, so all in all, about a mile per hour less than my ping swing speeds. Backspin 2632, carry 219. Even on the misses, we're seeing, low, we're seeing lower spin numbers. 
uh, from comparison to comparison from 10K to Black Ops. Black Ops is, is lower swing speed on even on the, the slight misses to the right, but definitely on the centered strike, uh, we're seeing more ideal numbers at 21, 2100. Yeah, looks like distance wise, Black Ops takes it, I would say, huh? Not my best swing session for sure, but let's look at the table here, actually, if we wanna break the stats down. So, well, first, I always like to look at swing speed again, so we know we're going apples to apples. As you can see, the swing speed of the, of the ping was up a little bit here. Just about, what, 0.8 mile per hour? Is that what that works out to yeah, be? So, in the challenge, we ask and ask and look for that swing speed to be within three miles an hour. We're within three. We're within three. So we caught that. In terms of efficiency, the Black Ops actually was better. 1.43 to 1.41, with one 1.46 that stood out there. Honestly, when I was warming up, I think we were seeing a lot more like 1.46s and things. Yes. So I just don't think I was swinging so great there. But that's one of the reasons you want a driver. You know, late in the round, you're gonna get tired. That's where I struggle with driver the most. So ball speed with that 0.8 mile per hour swing speed difference is that 0.9 mile per hour faster leaving the club head. In terms of launch angle, Pretty close, looks like, 11.1 to 11.4. We are getting a, a little less spin there with the Black Ops, 23.22. That's nice to see, because again, I kind of want to live around the 2100 number. Yeah. In terms of peak height there, we're squeaking out an extra yard there with the Black Ops, which is leading to that extra carry. We're getting about five extra yards of carry there and four extra yards if you consider the rollout. So those numbers aren't gonna blow anyone's socks off, but again, considering I played around a golf this morning, took about, what, 25 to 50 swings uh, before we started here. When you get worn out, that's when you need the forgiveness most. Yes, you do. And as you can see, it's, as you mentioned, later in the round when we're not feeling quite as fresh, it is nice to have that tighter dispersion and, and get that ball speed even as we're starting to fatigue. Right, well, I planned on you coming here and handing me $100, but it looks like uh, you guys won this one, Dave. Congratulations. <laughs> like my track record. Definitely. <laughs> Staying undefeated. Are you still undefeated? Are you yes. undefeated? How many of these have you done? I have done probably, I've done upwards of 30 of these. Wow. Myself. Undefeated. Over the course of Gen 6 and Black Ops. That's great. And That's awesome. those numbers are going to continue to grow. Uh, have three or four more on Saturday. That nice. We're going to be doing over at TPC Tampa Bay. We'll leave a link down in the description if you want to join the challenge as well. Take your shot at $100. Honestly, I really thought I was going <laughs> to, it was going to be easy for me today, but Black awesome. Ops takes it. <laughs> Gotta say, that was a huge surprise. I totally thought the Ping 10K Max would win there. In terms of my swing speed, it was starting to dip down there a little bit. You saw the yardage dip down. I think I took too many swings, but regardless, the PXG Black Ops is the champ today. Highly recommend you go on to PXG's website. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna enter the challenge for yourself. Maybe you'll win the $100 that I couldn't win here. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know how you do, and I'll catch you back here next time on another edition of Let's Play Through.